FTBI chip is really exciting. And that's a new device, the FT900. It's a blazing fast 32-bit crisp electric controller. 15 to 20 percent faster than the ARM stuff that's out there. Faster than the bits that are out there. We've got some dry stuff benchmarking uh, that you should check out. But when we talk about the FT900, it's just not the speed. The other thing we've done is put in a lot of system connectivity. So a full feature set, including uh, 10 100 Ethernet, two CAN bus controllers, a USB high speed host, um, and a peripheral, a camera interface, and much, much more. So one of the things is you can think about this device as being the ultimate bridging solution. What are we bridging to right now? The hot thing is obviously Ethernet. So bridging, say, from USB to Ethernet, that speed of the FT900 can really work to repackage data and get it out over Ethernet. We see as also a lot of applications with regard to naming a FT900 uh, with an E chip, either the FT800 or FT801 to give an actual video uh, capability, video streaming capability as compared to the static offer, uh, static display that we offer right now. So if you do look up, you'll see that there we have a, a camera uh, located above our booth. What we like to do is show you the demonstration that we're so now where we are uh, is at the other side of the camera. So here what we're showing is that the display, this uh, 900 is actually hooked up to the camera. So if we take a look at the schematic here, we have the camera center that's uh, located with the 900. It takes that input, sends it over Ethernet to this 900 aboard. And here what we're doing is taking that then raw isochronous video and uh, running our algorithms on that to create the bitmaps that we need. Those bitmaps that are fed to the FT800, and we actually get that streaming video. So if you look here then, you can see looking down, um, the occupants of our booth, very high uh, resolution. So with our 16th bit resolution, we really do get some great images. And again, some neat things, we use the 800 to actually then put in some control panels there, so it's a mix of the 800 control and the video. Okay, so now we're looking uh, closer at the video, and you can see very distinct um, resolution um, of the picture, but how we're getting that is each pixel is actually 1 16th resolution. So again, now we have the display um, utilizing the 900, uh, giving bitmaps to the 800, streaming video, and you can see the resolution there. Now, the other thing to note, though, is the control panel that we've overlaid here with the actual 800. And the 800 can actually do some neat little things, too. So here we're flipping back, back and forth in a mirror. So there's an edge here that we flip around for symmetry. And the 800 is actually processing that image real time and doing the flipping. We can pause it, start it, flip it. So we really uh, like this combination of the 900 and the 800. It's a very powerful in volume. We can you know, get these two chip prices for around $650 or $7. So it's a high performance uh, solution that gives you video that you can uh, do your applications remotely over Ethernet, which we think is very applicable for security, um, home systems, and many applications in the market.